it's Mike coming at you with a very special Planet Coaster video. It's that time of year again where I attempt to narrow down all of the rides from this year's spotlights into a top 10. Welcome to the top 10 rides of 2023. With the quality of rides showcased this year, this proved to be an almost impossible task as everyone delivered in every park I spotlighted this year. I believe that every park that I've looked at this year could have had at least one ride that appeared in this top 10. But after many hours of deliberating, I've finally managed to do it and narrow down my own personal top 10. Now remember, this is only my personal choices and chances are you are going to disagree with me. So let me know down below in the comments what your personal choices would have been. A quick disclaimer just before we get started. Due to the duration of some of the rides that I'm showing in this video, I've been unable to get the full POVs for every single ride, as the video would have been almost an hour long. But you will be able to find the full ride POVs in the spotlights, which will be linked down below. But with all of that out of the way, let's kick off this top 10, shall we? Starting us off at number 10, we have what may be the smallest coaster I've ever seen created on the console. Caterpillar is a Vekoma family coaster and appeared in Simple Park by our favourite friendly Frenchman, Yan BK. How Yan was able to fit a coaster into such a small area was outstanding. But not only that, he managed to make it so smooth and detailed all the way around. A boat ride brings us in at number 9. Pirates in China is a beautiful boat ride that was created by Dark Tony which appeared in Foxy Park. Pirates in China is one of the most scenic boat rides I've been on this year and the lighting and set pieces throughout the ride's duration was so beautifully done and the entire journey was a visual treat for the senses. Our ride at number 8 had some absolutely insane theming. Fallout Wasteland Death Race was created by Brivades, and what he created with this ride was nothing short of breathtaking, taking you on a drive through this apocalyptic wasteland and into the abandoned city. Just amazing.
We travel to Disneyland for our ride at number 7. Flying of Agrabah is a Vekoma suspended looping coaster and appeared in My Disneyland created by Silver Ponka. The theming around this ride was sensational and the amount of leg chopping moments around the ride made you feel completely immersed in the entire area. Silver Punker always delivers with every coaster from all of his parks, but this may be his best one yet. A hypercoaster brings us to number 6. Talos appeared in Thompson Park, created by Sausagat. This amazing coaster takes you on a tour around the man-made island, offering breathtaking views. I especially love the drop from the first lift hill, and the subtle angle how the ride dropped down below the ground. Not only that, but the entire coaster was custom supported. Strap yourselves in for this adrenaline rush. Mine trains are one of my favourite coaster types in Planet Coaster, and this next ride may potentially be one of my favourites ever. Explorer is an aerodynamics mine train and appeared in Fire Rock River, created by Green Jay Bird 13. This ride, from the moment it left the station, was able to continuously build up the momentum throughout the ride's duration, and the excitement levels only continued to climb. Taking you on a journey through the jungle and into the depths of the temple complex, this ride just wowed all the way through.
One of the most talented creators on the console brings us to number four. Temple Explorer is a cascade ride created by Bertie, which appeared in All Adventures, a collab park between Bertie and Flooded Tombs. Bertie excels at creating rides that could easily be mistaken for real life recreations due to the amount of realism he puts in his rides. Bertie is strongly considered to be amongst one of the best creators on the console, and with rides such as this, it's easy to see why. The details all the way around the ride are spectacular, and I want this ride to be recreated in real life. The Dark Ride at number 3 was not for the faint of heart. Brian Manor appeared in Paradox Garden and was created by I Am Possible 13. This Dark Ride was full of amazing set pieces throughout and had some genuinely creepy moments. With almost a hundred different triggers in the ride you were never short of something jumping out at you and making you feel uneasy. The time and dedication put into this ride cannot be underestimated, and this one ride felt like a culmination of all the amazing trigger work I Am Possible is known for throughout the community.
we travel to Middle Earth for our ride at number two. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so to have an entire Lord of the Rings park starting off this year was one of the highlights of the year. To then have a ride that takes you through the events of the Fellowship of the Ring, sign me up! Jorin's Bane is a premier ride skyrocket and appeared in Lord of the Parks created by Albrus and Warren G. Starting off at Weathertop and then taking us on a journey through so many of Middle-earth's iconic locations left me speechless. From visiting Rivendell before moving on to the mines of Moria, this six minute coaster will leave you asking for more. Make sure to check out the full ride POV by checking out the spotlight of this incredible park, the link will be down below. Coming in first place and my personal pick for the number one ride of 2023, what else could it have possibly been? The master of ride experiences, Silex delivers us his magnum opus in this god tier ride experience. 
My Tale is a 25 minute ride that takes you on a journey you won't ever forget and you'll want to return to it again and again. Silex has taken us on so many journeys over the last few years with his world class ride experience coasters but My Tale may be the best yet. I honestly don't know what I can possibly say about this ride that I didn't attempt to say in the spotlight itself. Silex doesn't play the same game as the rest of us mere mortals. I implore you if you haven't already make it your new year's resolution to go back and watch the spotlight for this incredible ride. You won't regret it and with that let's take a quick ride and look at some of the highlights of this incredible ride.
And there we go. There are my top 10 rides for 2023. Wow. What a year we have had this year. The level of talent being shown by so many different creators has been on a whole new level. And picking this top 10 has been the hardest video I have ever made in the entire three years I've been doing YouTube. It makes me nervous but excited in equal measure for what's around the corner in 2024 as I've got no doubt in my mind that that bar is only going to continue to raise. What did you all think of this top 10? You're going to have to let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what your personal choices would have been for your top 10. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. And I'm going to be back very soon with more Planet Coaster Spotlights. I will see you all then. Take care. Stay safe. Look after yourselves. Happy New Year, everybody. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, everybody!